Welcome to the complete workout. This program has been designed to give you a total workout that you can adapt to your own level of fitness. For example, the 30 minute aerobic portion of class allows you to alternate between high intensity and low intensity movements, which is a great way to improve cardiovascular fitness while burning body fat. Half the class will maintain a low impact level throughout the aerobics, and some of you may choose this option. The other half will work at a higher intensity. The first part of class uses dumbbells to concentrate on contouring the upper body. Don't be afraid of building bulky muscles. For most women, this is simply impossible. What you will see happening over time as you combine weight training with aerobics is increased definition and contouring. Most women tend to neglect their arms, back, and shoulders, and this can lead to an underdeveloped upper body and stooped posture. Not only is this less attractive, it sets you up for back problems and other injuries. Now, for strengthening the upper body, I suggest you have two sets of dumbbells. If you're just beginning, a set of one pound and three pound dumbbells. If you've been lifting for a while, five, eight, or 10 pound dumbbells. You should choose a weight that allows you to complete the exercise while maintaining proper posture and form. The exercise should not be easy. It should make you work, but you should never feel that you're losing control of the weights. You shouldn't have to jerk the movement to begin, and your muscles shouldn't start to quiver during the movement. If any lift becomes too difficult to perform correctly, select a lighter weight. And remember, as you become stronger, in order to further improve, you'll need to increase the amount of weight you're using. Once you've found the right weight for each exercise, stick with it for at least two weeks before increasing. The second part of class focuses on strengthening and toning your stomach, hips, buttocks, and legs. For some of these exercises, you'll need ankle weights, one pound or two and a half pounds if you're beginning, and up to five pounds if you're stronger. If you like what working out with weights does for you, and I think you will, you might want to try my workout with weights video. If you have time to do the entire 65-minute workout in one session, I recommend that you do it three times a week on alternate days, and on in-between days, just the aerobic section followed by stretches. This schedule will do the most to reduce your body fat. Now, many of you won't have time for a 65-minute workout, and that's why I've designed the class in two 55-minute parts. One day, you'll do the upper body work and aerobics. The next time, you'll wind the tape back to the beginning of the aerobic section and do aerobics followed by lower body work. You can alternate these shorter classes four or five times a week. Since muscles need a day of rest after weight work, never do the same body part on consecutive days. All right, are you ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Let's go. Stand with your feet a little more than a hip distance apart. Hips are under, stomach in, chest is lifted, shoulders back and down, knees are bent over the toes. Ready? Inhale, up and down. Inhale, knees are bent right over the toes and down. Big exhale. Inhale, and down. This is the last time. Up, and down. Shoulder rolls to the right. One, two. Full circles now, up and back, and work your thighs. Knees over the toes. Now reach it up. One, two, reach, stretch. Don't rotate your body. Keep facing straight ahead. Shoulder rolls again. One. Two, full circles, work the thighs, bend the knees, full range of motion, and reach again, lift, lift, stretch, keep breathing, hips under, don't let it arch, punch out with knee bends, now, one, two, don't rotate your body, full range of motion, elbow, shoulder height, and breathe, Again, be sure your knees are going right over your toes. Don't let them roll in like this. Woo, warm it up. Now step to the right for chest stretch. One, two, three. Elbows are shoulder height. Step lightly and breathe and back. Ready for curls, biceps. One, two, three. Warm up those arms. Make your thighs work. That's right, keep breathing. Now, chest again for four. That's right. Now, 
bicep curls. Two, knees over the toes, elbows back again. Stretch, press, hips under. Four, biceps, one, two, three. Get ready to lunge to the right. One, two, touch that back heel down. Don't let your back arch, reach it long. Now knee lifts. One, two, three. Let's warm it up and breathe. Don't let your back arch. Get ready for lunges. Counts of four. One, two, three, four. Knee lifts. One, two, three. Last time with lunge. One, two, three, four. Knee lifts. One. Arm circles, one, very fluid. Warm up those shoulders, reverse, breathe. That's right. Now we're gonna stretch. Knees are bent, hip distance apart, stomach in, hips under. Chest is lifted, press over. Keep your chin in. Press your ear towards your shoulder, don't hunch up. Breathe, drop your chin and roll over to the other side. Press that ear over to the left side, chin is in. Chest is lifted, breathe. Drop your chin halfway down. And roll up. Place your fingers behind you. Stretch your arms out. Lift them up to the point of gentle tension. Knees are bent over the toes. Stomach in, hips are under, and breathe. Feel the stretch across the chest and in the shoulders. Now let go, hand on hip and reach out to the right, straight over your ear. Now stick your chin out, hips are under. Feel the stretch up the left side of the body. Stomach in, keep breathing. Now pull forward as though you were the hands of a clock reaching to two o'clock. Stretch it out, feel the stretch on the left side of your back. Stomach in and breathe. Now drop forward, round down with both arms, bend your knees, and slowly roll up. And reach over to the other side. Stretch it out. Arm is right over the ear. Don't hold your breath. Pull your stomach in, knees are bent over your toes. And now pull forward, reach to 10 o'clock. Stomach is in. Stretch it out. Keep breathing, knees are bent. And now round down, drop both arms. Feel a good stretch in your back. Come up a little bit and hold it. Lace your fingers and reach your arms up past your ears. Stretch it out. Stomach is in, don't hold your breath. Knees are bent over your toes. Big breaths, that's right. And now lower your arms and slowly roll up. Very good. Now grab a chair or bench, preferably a sturdy one with no arms, and arrange your weights so that they're convenient for you. You should watch the exercises once through without doing them so that you can understand the correct form, because for some of these exercises, you shouldn't watch the TV while you're doing them. If you have several weights, you may want to use the heavier one for these first exercises, the shoulder shrugs. Bend your knees, roll down, pick up your weights, and roll up the bent knees. Ready, lift. And back, up and back. Don't let your elbows bend. Press your shoulder blades together. Knees are bent over your toes. Hips are tucked under, don't stick out. Up, press your shoulder blades together and breathe normally. We're doing 12 of these. This is 10 and back. Lift all the way back. Last time, 12, and back. Bend your knees, roll down, and get lighter weights if you need them for the lateral raises. And lift, and down. Straight to the side, and down. Don't let your arms pull forward. And be sure that the wrist is neutral, not like this. Keep it nice and flat. This develops great looking shoulders. Keep breathing, exhale. Inhale, elbows are slightly bent, stomach in, hips are under. Exhale, inhale, two more, up and 
down, last time up and down. Roll down, get your heavier weights if you want to and roll back up again. Last set of shoulder shrugs. Up and back. Way up and press your shoulder blades together. Don't over grip. Up and back. Don't let your elbows bend and keep breathing. Full range of motion. Let your shoulders do all the work. This develops the upper back and helps correct poor posture. Pulls back those rounded shoulders. Press your shoulder blades together. Hips are under, stomach in, knees over the toes. The last time, and down. Roll down, get your lighter weights. Last set of lateral raises. Ready, up and down. Up and down. Keep your arms right out to the side. Elbows slightly bent. Only the shoulders height. Don't come up too high. Exhale up, inhale down. Hips are tucked under, knees are bent. And lift and lower. Up and down. Up and down. And last time, up and down. Very good. Sit on your chair or bench. Place your feet directly under your knees. They can be together or apart, whichever is more comfortable. You'll probably want to use the same weights that you used for lateral raises. These next exercises are the bent over lateral raises. And don't watch your TV while you do them. Place your weights right in front of your feet. Elbows are slightly bent. Ready, exhale up, inhale down. Press your shoulder blades together and down. A nice flat back. Neck is in alignment with your back. Don't look up. Don't let your head hang down. Up and down. Elbows slightly bent and down. Arms come straight to the side and down. Don't let them pull backwards and down. Wrists are neutral. Don't let them cock in. Exhale up, inhale down. Press your shoulder blades together and down. Last time, up and down and sit up for front raises. Ready, lift up and down. Only come to shoulder height and down. And keep your elbows slightly bent to take the strain off the elbow joints. These front raises work the front part of the deltoid muscle, the anterior deltoid, and it helps prevent shoulder injuries. Lifting to the side develops the mid-deltoid here, and bent over raises develops the back part of the shoulder. The three movements together give your shoulders a great contour without giving it a bulky look. Now we're gonna do bent over rows. Ready? Reach it out and up and out. Lift up and out. Don't get your elbows too high. Just bring them parallel to your torso. Up and reach out. Up and reach out. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale up, inhale down. Be sure your back is flat. Don't let your head drop. Don't let it arch up. Keep it in alignment with your back. Exhale up, inhale down, and now sit up for oh, biceps yeah. curls. And up and down. Don't over grip. Up and down, a nice fluid motion. Don't rock back to get the weights up. Just isolate that muscle. Neutral wrist, don't go like this. Not that I'm partial or anything, but watch Shirley Fonda. See how she isolates her biceps? And keep breathing. <laughs> Two more, exhale, inhale, last time. And now let's go back to the first one, the butt over raises. Weights right in front of your feet. Lift up and down, up and down. Back is flat. Lift up, straight to the side and down. Exhale, inhale, straight to the side and down. Up and down. Keep breathing. Up and down. Up and down. Nice flat back. Up and down. Up and down. Last time. Up and down and sit up. Front raises. Lift it up and down. Wrists are neutral. 
Elbows are very slightly bent. That takes the strain off the elbow joint. And down. Lift your shoulder height. The chin is in. Don't stick it out like this. Chest is lifted. Stomach is tight. Really isolate the arm work. Exhale, inhale. Practice in front of a mirror to be sure you're not lifting one arm more than the other. Last time, up and down. And now for bent over rows, you may want to use heavier weights. Reach out and lift it up and out. Up and out. Up and out. Only bring your arms parallel to your torso and out. Exhale, up, inhale, out. Easy breathing, up and out. This develops a good, strong back. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, nice fluid motion. Oh, up yeah. and down, and last time. Up yeah. and down, and sit up. Right. Last set yeah. of bicep curls. Up yeah. and down. Woo. Up yeah. and down. Lock those elbows into Woo. your sides. Chin is in, chest is lifted, stomach tight, strong back. Don't rock. Really isolate that work. Just move the lower arms and curl it up and down. Elbows into your sides. Last time, and down. Put your weights down. And we're gonna go on to push-ups. Push-ups are great to develop the chest muscle, the pectoralis, the front of the shoulders, and the triceps in the back of the arm. Correct posture while you're doing push-ups is critical, so listen carefully to my directions. Some of us are gonna do them on our knees. This is an easier way. If you're stronger, do them from your toes. Hands should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Cross your ankles if you're doing them from your knees. Inhale down, exhale up. Up. Your back should be nice and flat and long. Don't let it arch. Down and up. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale down. Two more times. Your uh -huh. neck and back should be in alignment. Woo! Last time and up. All right. Good. Come up on your knees. Place your fingers behind you and stretch your arms up just to the point of gentle tension. And breathe. We're stretching out those muscles that we've just been using. Don't let your back arch. Tuck your hips under, that's right. Now move into position for the last set of push-ups. All right. Inhale down, exhale up. Your back should be like a long, flat board. Don't let your stomach sag. Don't do that, and don't let your buttocks stick up. Nice and flat, and don't let your head drop forward. The head and the back should be on an alignment. And you inhale down, exhale up. Very good. All right. Now that finishes the upper body work, and we're going to go on to do 30 minutes of aerobics. Now for some of you, this is the beginning of class two. Remember, this half of the room will do low impact, led by Jeannie Ernst, and this half will do higher intensity, led by Laurel Sparks and myself. Decide which level you want to do, and then focus on that leader. You should feel like you're working hard, but always be able to carry on some kind of conversation. Are you ready? Yeah! Let's march up! All right. March in place. Right, left, right. Starting to the right. Down and up. Down, up, down. Reverse it. Down and up. Work those thighs. Reverse it. Down and up. That's right. Down, reverse it. Down and up. Down, up, down. Reverse it. Down. And up, really work those thighs, bend those knees, reverse it, down and up, that's yeah. right. Turn and walk, and turn. Pick your feet up, don't trip on the carpet, that's right. And breathe, and up and over, last time. Heel touches now, punch it out, that's right. Change arms and breathe. Work those thighs. Woo! Six, seven. Now we're gonna do three more and walk left. Two, oh, look at three, walk left. Oh. One, two, three, walk right. One, two, three, walk left. Last
last time, we're gonna walk right and walk. Now keep going with your heels out. Now change to touch and reach. Touch, reach, touch, reach. That's right. Now heel touches again. Down, up, down, up. Work those thighs and touch, reach, reach. That's right. Thumb a ride back. And punch front. Work those thighs and back. Thumb a ride. That's right. Punch front. That's right. Now walk and clap. Together. Apart. Together. Apart. Together. Get ready to turn to the right now. That's right. Down. Don't let your back arch. Tuck your hips under. Feel like you're tying a bow. Breathe. Last time, march it out. That's the end of the warm up, and now we're going to go into the solo led by Jeannie. Don't be concerned if you don't get the steps right away. Just keep trying, and you'll get it. Take it, Jeannie. Okay. All right, right foot. Bring it forward. Here we go. And it. Beginning, left foot forward and forward and back. 
together starting with a twist to the right ready now all right Woo. work those hips come on energy breathe <laughs> last set twist and shout Bye. 
start off by riding a horse, and this is how you do it. Hang on. Here we go. You reach, pull, reach, pull, reach, pull, and pull, reach, pull. One, two, reach, pull. Looks good. Be tight. Be strong. Hang on. Hang on. One, two, three, eight. Dip down. We're gonna call these dips, not the A's, because they're hard for me to say. We're gonna hit the front and the back of your legs, right here. Up in. Dip down. Dip down. Hang on. Push on. You got it. You got it. Turkey. Sashay. Here we go. Let's turn it. Give me some turkey feathers. Yeah. Be sure that each time that you sashay, you pick up your feet. Yeah. Sashay. Turn it. Let's walk to the right. Here we go. Now tip your hat like this. Tip your hat. Looks good. Right. Tip that hat. Sometimes you can have howdy duty here. Howdy duty. You duty. Hang on. Let's reach and pull right here. Reach, pull. Now last one forward. Here we go. Looks good. One more time. Reach, pull. This is how I catch my man. I last so at home. Yeah, let's ride a horse. Here we go. Reach, pull, reach, pull. Hang on, hang on. One, two. Reach, pull. Be strong, be strong. Hang on, hang on. You how? One, two.
last time, side, 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 change, Hawaiian step now. Reverse it. Some of us will have a little Hawaiian flavor here, and some will be a little funkier. <laughs> it's all right, just do your own thing. Cool it down. That break fun. And now we're going to stretch out the muscles we've been using. And open. And turn. Extend the leg behind you. Tuck your hips under. Lace your fingers. Press your arms down. Toes facing straight ahead. Be sure your back isn't arched. Feel the stretch up the back of that leg and in the shoulders. The front knee is bent. Now bring the foot up and extend it further back. Lift that back heel. Press your arm across your chest. Press your hips forward and feel the stretch in the hip flexors and in the shoulder. Don't let your elbow bend and breathe. Hips forward. Change arms and bring that foot further in. Press the heel down. Both knees are bent. Both heels are pressing into the ground. Feel the stretch in the Achilles tendon of the back leg. Hips are under, stomach in. Press that arm across. Don't let your elbow bend and breathe. Very good. Open your arms. Place your hands on the small of your back and pull down over that front leg. Legs should be straight. Toes are flexed up. Feel the stretch up the back of that leg and the hamstring. Feel the stretch. Foot is flexed up. Lower the toes and round up. Oh, lay! And turn the other way. Back leg is stretching out behind you. Toes straight ahead. Press that back heel down. Arms wrapped around you. Hips are under. Press forward. Feel the stretch up the back of the leg. Hug yourself, tuck in your chin, and feel the stretch in your back. Hold it there and breathe. Feel the stretch in your back and in the back of that leg. Very good. Now, let go. Come up on that toe. Extend the leg further behind you. Press the hips forward. Feel it in the front of the hip. Lace your fingers behind you. Press your arms down and feel the stretch across the chest and in the front of that hip and the hip flexors. And now, bring that foot further in. Press the back heel to the floor. Feel the stretch in the Achilles tendon, arms overhead. Palms facing down, stretch your arms up. Hips are under and feel the stretch up your sides and in the Achilles tendon of that back foot. And breathe, hips are under. Open your arms, place your hands on your lower back. Pull down over that front leg. Feel the stretch in the hamstrings. Foot is flexed up. Stomach in and breathe. Front leg is straight. Don't hold your breath. Foot down, bend your knees, roll up. All day. Very good.
those of you who are just doing class one should stop here and rewind the tape back to the start of aerobics, which is the beginning of class two. For the rest of you, we'll now go on to work the lower body, starting with lunges. You can follow Jeannie doing standing lunges, holding onto a chair for support, or do them holding your weights for added resistance. As you get stronger, follow Diane and myself, who are going to do step lunges, which you can do with or without weights. We'll start by doing eight with the right leg. Ready, and down, and up. Down, and up. Don't let your knee go past your toes. Down, and up. Breathe, and up. Keep the knees and toes lined up. Chest is lifted. Strong back, and change legs. Place your foot so that the knee comes right over the toe, like this. Don't let it come too far forward. The thigh and leg only come to a right angle, like this. That's right. And your hip should be under, stomach in, and a nice strong back. That's right. Now we'll rest for a moment and do our last set with the right leg. Over the toes and up and last time change legs down and up inhale exhale if you start to get tired and wobble just stop and rest and up down and up and two more down and up down and up very good put away your weights Turn and face your support. Reach around and grab your right leg. And press that thigh and hip forward. Slightly bend your supporting leg. Don't let your hips rotate or your back arch. Keep the hips pressing forward. Don't let your thigh rotate out like this. Keep the knee pointing straight to the floor. Feel a stretch up the front of the thigh. And release on the other leg. Bend the standing leg. Don't let your body rotate. Hips are tucked under. Stomach is in. Press that thigh back and the hip forward. Knee is pointing straight to the ground. And breathe. Feel a stretch up the front of the thigh. Release. Place your feet at a comfortable distance. Bend your knees. Tuck your hips under. We're going to do a set of exercises for the hip muscles. Ready? Under, hold, hold, release. Under, release, tuck under, release, tuck under, release. Hold it in a contraction, release. Under, release. Feel these muscles contracting. Stomach is in. Don't arch. Just come to a neutral position. Hold, release, squeeze, two, Three, release. Hold. Two, three, release. Breathe. Don't hold your breath. Make it work. Come on, really squeeze it. No free rides now. And squeeze. Two, three, release. This is the third set of eight. We're going to do four sets. Squeeze. Two, three, oh, release. Yeah. Curl under. Hold tight. Curl under. Release. Under. Careful not to arch. Under. Mm, all right. Just come to neutral and under. Mm -hmm. Knees are bent. Chest is lifted. This is oh. the last set of eight. Can you feel it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Work those muscles. Squeeze yeah. it. Yeah. Release. Squeeze Woo. it. Woo. Release. And under. Hold. Hold. Release. And squeeze. Oh. Really work it. Release. The last two at this tempo. Last time. Woo! Now up to tempo. One, two. This is a little quicker. Yeah. Careful not to yeah. arch. Don't come back too far. Don't go like this. Just tuck yeah. under and squeeze Woo! and work it. Chest is lifted. Body is straight ahead. Squeeze. Aye, can you feel it? All yeah. right. <laughs> two more. Last time. All right. All right. Now get your battle towel and we'll go yeah. on to the third. Final exercise.
optimize for the buttock or gluteal muscles. As you get stronger, you may want to put on ankle weights. Start with one pound and increase to no more than five pounds on each ankle. Lie on your stomach with your cheek resting on your mat. Put your hands underneath your hip bones to protect your back and keep it from arching. Start with the right leg, lift up and down. Exhale up, inhale down. Don't bend your knee all the way up. Straight up and down. Don't let your foot roll out like this. Bring it straight up. It's only a few inches. It's a very small movement. And breathe. You'll start to feel it in the hamstring and buttock. Don't let your hip raise up. Keep breathing. Okay. Come on, you can do it. Uh -huh. Lift and down. Up and down. Lift. Last time on this leg. Up and change legs. Up and down. Up and down. See how the leg is open a little bit. It's not bent all the way up like this. And you're lifting it straight up and down. Don't let it drop open like this. It's a very small movement, otherwise your back will arch. And it's the buttock muscles and hamstrings that are the working muscles. You should begin to feel it in here. Straight up, relax the foot. That's right. Change legs. Oh, up yeah. and down. Up and down. That's three. Four. That's up. 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 And lift. Lift. Change to the other cheek if it's more comfortable so you don't get a cramp in your neck. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Lift. Straight up, change legs. Lift. 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 Keep breathing. That's right. Keep going. This is the last set of eight on this leg. And down. Two. Three. Keep breathing. Four. Almost over. Five. You can do it. Six. That's right. Seven. Last time. Eight. Very good. Roll over on your side. Stretch out your arm. Head on your arm. Bottom knee is bent. And lift. And down. Lift and down. You want to be sure the side of your hip is facing the ceiling. Lift and lower. Don't let yourself roll back like this in order to get your leg up. And don't let yourself roll forward. Keep this hand right here to press you in position and lift and down. Two more. Oh. Exhale. Woo. Inhale. Last time. And oh. down. Now extend the bottom leg. Oh. Lift it up oh. and down. Up and down. Try to keep that inner thigh muscle facing the ceiling. Don't rock forward like this. Press yourself back so that this hip is directly in line with the ceiling and that your leg is lined up with your torso. And lift and down. Lift and down. Two more. That's up and down. Keep breathing. Up and down. Now let's do the last set with this outer thigh. And lift and down. Up and down. Don't let it rock. And down. Press it straight up. All right. Make sure this leg is in a line with your torso. And breathe. And relax your foot. Lift and down. That's right. It's up and down. Two more. Eleven. Last time it's 12 and down. Last time for the inner thigh. Ready, lift it up and down. Up and down. That inner thigh should be facing the ceiling. This is one of the few exercises that really isolates the inner thigh muscle. Lift and down. Don't let the hip pull forward. 
press yourself into place. Ten, Hi. two more, eleven. Last time, twelve. Very good. Sit up and roll over to the other side. All right. Stretch out, head on your arm, bend that bottom knee, extend the top leg. Ready, lift it up and down. Up and down. Three and down. Keep breathing. Four and down. Don't rock back. Press yourself into place. Long leg lined up with your torso. This is the abductor muscle, the muscle that moves your leg away from your body. Two more, keep breathing, 11. Last time, 12. Okay, bend that top knee, lift the bottom leg, ready, up and down. This is the abductor muscle, the muscle that pulls the leg in towards the body. Lift and down, lift and down. Keep breathing, up and down, lift and down, lift and down. Keep breathing. That leg is lined up with your torso. Right. Don't let it pull forward like this. Lift and last time. Twelve and down. Bend the bottom knee. Extend the top leg and lift and down. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. Keep breathing. That's right. You can do it. It's almost over. And lift. And lift, don't rock it. Up and down. This gives a nice contour to the hip right here. 10, the posture is very important, so be sure you're doing it right. Last time. And now bend that top knee. Last set with the abductor muscle. Lift and down. Lift and down. Three and down. It's a very small movement. And breathe. Breathe, that's right, it's almost over. And down, lift and down, up, lift, and breathe. Up and down, very good. Yeah. And we're gonna go on to the last set of exercises. You're probably gonna wanna take off your ankle weights. We're gonna work the abdominals next or as we say, the abominables. All right! Yeah, okay, Lie on your backs. Put your arms across your chest or place your fingers behind your ears, but don't put any pressure on your neck like this. Elbows stay back, pelvis is curled up. Ready, lift it up, two, three, and down. Exhale, hold, hold, and down. Lift up, hold, hold, and down. Exhale, inhale, keep your elbows back and down, curl up, hold, hold, and down, curl it up, hold, hold, all the way back, up, hold, hold, and down, go to the right, and down, exhale, and down, we're working the obliques now, and down, and lift, contract it, up, and down, contract, and down, and breathe, last time, up, to the left, it's up, two, three, and down, and lift, three, all the way down, lift, two, three, full range of motion, and up, two, three, and down, and breathe, and down, and lift, and work those obliques, and last time, up, and down, and now cross your ankles, bend your knees, we're going to take it straight up again, ready, lift it, up, two, Three and down. Contract. Two, three, and down. Don't put any pressure on the neck. And down. And exhale. Ow! All the way back. Up. And down. Keep your elbows back. Woo! And down. And breathe. Don't hold your breath. And lift. Yeah. And down. Now let's do a full body stretch. Woo! Hands yeah. stretching in one direction. Feet in another. Press your lower back into the floor. Don't let yourself arch. And breathe. Lower your arms and get ready for reverse trunk curls. Cross your ankles, bend your knees at right angles. Now we're just gonna lift the hips a little bit. Lift and down, up and down, up Ooh. and down. You hardly move at all, it's almost uh. imperceptible. You yes. hardly can see it. You're using your lower abdominals to lift your hips. Oh. But they're not really lifting, it just feels that way. 
Really concentrate on the lower abdominals and don't rock your legs in like Good this. Work. Don't get the hips up by moving your legs. Ow! The legs don't move, they're at right angles. Lift, you contract. Ow. It's all a contraction in the lower abdominals. <laughs> lift, you can do it, come on. This is great for your lower belly. And lift, and lift. Now, if you're tired, you should stop. If you want more ab work, uncross your ankles, put your hands on your thighs, tuck up, lift it up, up. You don't go back this time. This is not full range of motion. These are small crunches. Chin is in, and breathe. Exhale, exhale, lift. You can do it. Come on, it's almost over. Keep breathing, and up, up. Up, you've stopped believing me when I say it's almost over, but it really <laughs> is. And up, and lift, and reach, and reach. Stop if you're tired. This is the last set. Lift, lift. Four, three, two, last time. All right, lower your legs, stretch out, and we're gonna go right into the cool down stretch. Extend the leg and bring the knee over to the opposite side. Press the knee down. Extend the arm out to the side, shoulder height. Turn and look at that arm and curl your pelvis up. And breathe. Don't hold your breath. Shh. That's right. Now roll onto your back. Extend the opposite leg and bring the other knee over to the side. Curl your pelvis up. Extend your arm out to the side, shoulder height. Turn and look at that arm. Lengthen your back, don't let it arch. Press that knee over and breathe. Feel the stretch. Roll onto your back. Bend your knee and extend your leg up and press it gently towards your chest, just to the point of gentle tension. Don't overstretch. Relax your foot. We've been working those muscles very hard. Now it's good to stretch them out. Breathe into it. Change legs. Other leg up, just to the point of gentle tension. Shh. Let me hear you breathing. Now bend both knees, hands behind the knees, stretch them towards your chest. This is an excellent stretch for your back. If you want to increase the stretch, tuck your chin in and lift your head. And breathe. Put your feet on the floor, hold your thighs, tuck your chin in and roll up. Swing towards the television set, put the soles of your feet together, hands on your ankles and slowly round over. Feel the stretch in the inner thighs. Take a big inhale and exhale. Round into it. Relax into it, feel the stretch in the thighs. Very good, sit up. Bring one leg across, place it on the floor. Hands on the floor, feet come parallel, bend your knees, and roll up with bent knees. And reach the right arm up, stretch the other palm down. Feel the stretch up the right side of the body. Knees are bent right over the toes, hips are under, stretch. Stomach is in and breathe. Shh, and release, other side. Feel the stretch. One arm in one direction, the other arm in the other direction. Knees are bent over the toes. And release. Very good, you did it. It was a good class. All right. Stay tuned for a brief introduction to my other video programs.